What's up, Jabroni? Steven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Supernatural episode number seven of season number five, The Curious Case of Dean Winchester. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction episodes extra early over there. If you want them, if you don't want them, totally cool episodes here whenever they show up. So, yeah, we're hopping into this one. Last episode, we got introduced to the kid whose name was Jesse... Does that sound about right? Essentially, he was the Antichrist or, right? I think that's what he was, the Antichrist. Uh, cool story, cool episode, really enjoyed it. Like seeing that kind of uh, take on that story. Um, very curious where things go. I actually don't remember what the last thing image was of last episode. And you guys know me. I like to make sure, so we're gonna go back, hit this episode and jump to that ending scene. We're in a car. It leaves us. All right. Cool. Just want to make sure. Nonetheless, we're going to hop in here. Have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Patreon for the full reaction. Pretty much. Here we go. Curious case. I mean, what year was this? I mean, was this hey Benjamin babe. Button? Oh my God, I was right. Curious case of Benjamin Button. He's getting old. No! No! Oh, never heard of him. Well, that's weird. Because you're carrying his wallet. Huh. Your wife told us about your birthmark there. That's nice. Well, you look great. But did you get some work done? <laughs> the other five, guy must have played. Irish accent. Name's Patrick. All right, all right. Where's this game at? He said he likes to keep moving. Never stays in one bar long. And he finds you. Thank you, Cliff. Screw. Oh, fuck. Why would you go by yourself, bro? Wait for me. Bobby. Oh, shit. What did you do? What the hell are you doing here? Planting daisies. What's it look like? Came in on the case. And you beat me here. Well, brains trumps legs, apparently. Oh. Bobby? I ain't in a loss. How many years did you lose, Bobby? Not exactly. What did you do? I played, okay? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Great. Good to see you. <laughs> Would you two please excuse me? So besides this power, does this guy oh, have another kind of power? We should have done some research. There's got to be ways to win this shit back. Hmm. 25 years. They go to him. He's cashing out. Dean? Bobby? Oh, shit. You sure? Yes. Wow. He's not even playing for the extra ones. This without Sam. Hey, Dean? You find anything? You might say. Who the hell are you? Fucking lost. Dude, relax. It's me. He, fuck, he fucking Hi. lost. So you were just going to shoot some old guy, is that it? I didn't know what you were. I mean, have you seen you? You look like the you... old chicken. Titanic. I know. Shut up. I... Yeah. Go. Oh. You can't be eating those burgers anymore, buddy. I'm having a heart attack. No, you're not. Ooh, he pissed somebody off. Wait, what? That was a legit accident? Um. Like the coins, that coins, what are they? Uh, Sam? The chips. Do the chant and then they'll work on us? Dime what? store model. Piece of cake. Uh, Any phony abracadabra. It's in the 900 year old wedge. You look super familiar. You boys want yours? Score them the old fashioned way. Texas hold them. Fine. What? What are you 
you doing? You'll find out soon enough. Get out of here, Sam. What the fuck? What was that about? So the one chick's a witch too? What did he do to you? I believe that he witch gave you the clap. You're not good enough. I'm better. Bobby's way better. We both lost. Exactly. So what? So I don't get a say in this anymore? Sammy, when you get to be our age, you you're 30, <laughs> Dean. Look, I'm old. And I'm broke down. And I can't. I ain't a. And if I wasn't such a coward, I'd have stuck a gun in my mouth the day I got home from the hospital. What the fuck? What the Bobby? What the hell? It's not even that bad, dude. Deal. Oh god. <laughs> My elbows. I'm all creaky. <laughs> Hurry up, you cry baby. Pound it up your ass on your side. <laughs> Grandma. Oh. Yeah, my back. <laughs> Straighten up. Yeah, but a little sympathy wouldn't hurt. Butt cheek tingling. Well, that's kind of personal. <laughs> so, yeah. And they still want to sit here with the kitty tails. Playing it cautious. Playing it percentages. I'm still gonna kick your ass into the nursing home. Does this armchair psychology of your Is this what you meant to give your big brother? Ah, oh, fuck. The one you gave him never passed my lips. Won't do a scrap of good. Don't like cheating, Sam. <gasps> now, anyway, in hell, Sam comes his policy. Bring back that devil power, man. Stop it, Patrick! Let him go. He tried to kill us. I did it. I gave him the spell. Crack shoes. Oh, goody! More stairs. Oh, uh, the apartment. I guess that should have been what we did first. Clean in here. First witch I ever heard of didn't spew bodily fluids all over the place. Toothbrush, comb, anything. Well, look at you. The percentage player betting the farm. Awful transparent of you, Sam. I mean, if I had a monster hand like you have, I'd trap you. But you get so excited, you bet yourself right out of a big bar. I fold. Set of ladies, I'm guessing. Uh, prove it. Show him. Tell him that you have nothing. Oh, he got you. Holy shit. Nice bluff. If we had time, I could make a real player out of you. I got time. Maybe. But I can't say the same for Dean. Oh, fuck. For a witch, you're so nice, that's actually kind of creepy. It's okay. It was a great hand. Come on. Just... Not as great as... Oh, shit! Has four fours. Well played. You know, that whole... Going out of your head bit... Barry Method. Yeah, that was really good. Well, there's more to you than meets the eye. Cash these in for Dean, please. And we don't have much left. I can't do this without you. I can't. So don't you dare think about checking out. I don't want to hear that again. Kitty parts. 
All right, so calm that yeah, down, done. Bobby. I'll start taking care of yourself. Let's go, Ironsides. Oh, that one's sticking, huh? Oh, yeah. So sad, though. All right. Well, that was episode number seven of season number five. Rock solid. Good episode. Very much enjoyed that. Uh, I'd probably give it an eight. Um, I just had I just I like the idea of the episode, like the concept. Um, I like the bad guy because he was he a true bad guy or he was just a person playing Boko for for years. He gave you the actual chance to win. It was your you. it was your choice. It wasn't like he was just killing people. People were choosing to fight or to play the game. So I like that. I like that in the end, the boys. They were losing. They were going to lose. And then Sam had to win. I, I wonder if I would have liked it more if they would have Sam would have lost. And then the girl would have been the one that actually saved the day. Um, the woman. Um, but, uh, but I think the way that they did it was better. Sam ends up winning. Using that emotional craziness that whenever it's about Dean, I thought that was a cool thing. And then in the after the after that, that the girl. Uh, the, his girl wanted to play for her years. So I'm ultimately die. Um, I like that. I I was really into this episode a lot. Uh, we'll break it down. Let's go through it real quick. So we start off. Um, man walks in. Things are hurting. She's turning into old man. Uh, guy is twenty five years old, but looks like like that. Um, we then we're looking around. We start to meet this old lady. She talks about her husband hasn't come back. We meet the husband, and he's some young. 20 something year old man he's supposed to be in his 80s he talks about that he played poker one and the guy gave him these years and his wife thinks he's dead and he's just gonna live his life like that dean then gets um we tell bobby earlier in the episode dean then goes looks for the game when he goes there he finds that bobby played for the years bobby ultimately lost we then, of course, find out that Bobby has been very depressed, been very sad ever since he's been in the wheelchair. He thinks being in a wheelchair is the end of his life. He thinks there is nothing more for him, that the world is over. Life is over as he knows it, and he doesn't want to live any longer. He wants to die. Uh, we then go in here. We meet the guy. Meet, um, Dean wants to play for Bobby's ears. Dean gives the Bobby his 25 years back. And we then find out, oh, our boy Dean lost. <laughs> we didn't even see how he played. We just saw he lost. Um, and we got to see old man Dean here, which was pretty solid. I wonder if I would have liked it better if it was just Dean with old man makeup. But the guy playing Dean was pretty good. We then see kind of how this guy is kind of like a con man. And he just does what he does. Um, go up to the places of the um, guy's apartment, look around. We think that stealing the chips and saying the chan is going to work. Turns out it is not. Um, the guy tells us and the guy gives Sam the clap just to be a dick. <laughs> we then see that this girl gives them how to essentially the how to kill him. Um, how to get the years back spell. Because uh, she ultimately wants to die. He's been with her for a long time and wants to die. Um. We also see that he wasn't a bad guy. This old man, this guy was going to literally die here and to make him from not dying, gives him his years back. Um, we then have Sam playing. Dean and Bobby are looking for a way to save the day. We find out that Sam and Sam and uh, Dean and Bobby didn't know Sam was playing. It's all part of the act. And Sam's just going to kind of buy some time. He steals a toothpick. The guy knew what they were doing. And the girl says it was her. She gave him the way out of how to how to be him, how to kill him. We then have Sam kind of playing with the uh, playing with the guy, and the guy and the guy says, um, uh, "Dean's gonna die." And when I mean soon, I mean in minutes. And you know, we got the emotion, and Sam uses that emotion to get the guy to go all in or whatever. Or Sam goes all in to get the guy to go all in. 
And the guy had aces. Everybody would go all in with aces. There's no way you would expect the other guy to have fours. And then ultimately Dean gets out, starts doing his little happy dance, go down for joy. Um, the guy gave him back his years. He didn't. He didn't go back on it and say, "Of course, you know, you guys tried to kill me. No years for you guys." Like I like the guy was a moral standing witch. <laughs> he, he, if you wanted to play the game, he played the game. If you wanted to essentially get yourself killed, that's on you. But he played the game. Um, and then this part was like, it probably was actually really sad. He didn't. He actually fell in love with the lady, uh, the girl, and didn't want her to go. But she, but he, he honored her by giving her what she wanted. And. You know, she she died there, and Dean says he's sorry to Bobby. He 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 says that I understand that if it was me, I'd be complaining too. And but Bobby, we still need you. You can help us in this fight. All stuff that legitimately makes sense, and I really like the episode. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode as well. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon if you want the full reaction, uncut, unedited episodes extra early over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.